welcome back everyone. Eric, Jose doing another uh, beer review. Uh, surprise, surprise, right? Uh, this one so happens it's Tuesday, even though it's actually Saturday. Yep. But there you go. Uh, barrel aged Imperial Stouts, uh, aged in bourbon barrels. So there you go. 14% from the brewery. This was 20 bucks, not including taxes. Did you shake this before? Yeah, I always shake the beers before we drink them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go down the middle, I guess. There we go. It looks like oh, oil, kind there. of. Kind of, huh? These uh, nifty little glasses. It smells mm. pretty good. It smells like it's kind of hard. Actually. It smells like a imperial stout. You can smell the the slight sweetness of the bourbon um, barrels. Yeah, it smells it smells pretty much like a bourbon barrel. BBA. Not too bad for a beer. It smells like dark fruit. Yeah, like ripe fruit. Really datey, sort of kind of raisiny, smell. but like bourbon. A little smoky. I think I'm smelling sponge. It smells you know, pretty smelling. sweet. <laughs> I feel like like doing like this to coat the whole glass. Oh. All right, let's try this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oof. That's pretty heavy. That's strong. It's, it's funny because it's kind of bright at the same time, too. It has sort of a bright quality to it. It's like a flash of brightness, and then it kind of goes away, and all those it's heavier sweet. flavors come in. It's really sweet, but then the, the heat, the booziness comes in after, and I could totally still feel it right here. It feels warm. I'm going to rate it. Mm -hmm. It's an easy 10, for sure. The only thing is, I just wish it were—I just wish it were slightly thicker. <laughs> that sounds weird, but I do like it. I, I wish it was more full-bodied. Oh, okay. It's kind of like medium. Yeah. But you know that—that's—that's that's hard. That's—that's that's like not anything. Yeah. So yeah. So it's a ten for sure. It's world class. Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, it's like a 9-10. I'm kind of debating. It's not a solid 10 for me only because um, I kind of feel like it's it's kind of missing a something, a tiny bit of something. Have you had something better that's a 10? Well, that's sort of what I'm thinking is that it's, um, I, I can't think of anything right off the bat that's sort of like better. So it's not, um, <laughs> so it's not, um, uh, that's why it's not like jumping out at me as far as like it's not necessarily a 9 but it's not necessarily a 10 because I, I kind of feel like um, like it just it, it, the, the sweetness is it's it's like I said it's kind of right at my limit so it's sort of it's pushing it mm. you know so that's sort of uh, my the only drawback because I wish it was like maybe a notch or two less sweet you know uh, other than that though it's pretty much a 10 really I mean uh, there's nothing really wrong with it it's, it's really good I could definitely um, picture myself saving that and just you know enjoying it yeah. you know yes yeah. Paraba Java I think it should be Paraba Java but that's what I thought Paraba Java Java that, that Paraba Java just rolls, rolls off, off better yeah. <laughs> Firestone 14% this is uh, limited to the brewery only so it's 20 bucks, 21, 22. Very limited. Tons of people want this. Yeah, seriously. It looks pretty identical to... How come yours doesn't come out? Unless Eddie has mine. It smells like coffee. It smells good. I like this one. It smells like coffee with creamer in it. Yeah, it's the sort of, yeah, when they have like, uh, throw a little bit of milk yeah. sugar in that, yeah. Other than that, I can't really get a, a good smell. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like... like barrel aged? Yeah. Not really. Cheers. Cheers.
Oof. Hmm. This uh, immediately, it tastes like Mexican coffee, if that makes sense. They like to put sugar, they put creamer, coffee. Tons of coffee. Yeah. For a barrel aged, usually uh, barrel aged coffee beers, you know, you could get a hint of coffeeness, but I'm getting a lot of coffee, almost like an espresso. I'm getting more coffee than barrel aged. Like, if someone, like, you can kind of taste the barrel aged in this. Um, it's not super pronounced, though. It's not the star here. The star is the coffee. For sure, the barrel aged is uh, just sort of uh, playing in the background. It's it's the ensemble, basically. Compared to the shit, it, the shit was like a kick to your mouth. You know, it's just like bam. And this is more elegant, I guess. More refined. Hmm. I'm gonna rate it. This could be a nine or a ten, in completely <clears throat> different reasons. <clears throat> than the previous 10 from the ship. They're essentially the same beer, but you know, one has coffee, one doesn't. Right. This is just too refined for me. It's probably one of the better barrel aged beers, coffee barrel aged beers that I've had in a very long time. And that says a lot because we've kind of had a few. Yeah. But I like the aggressiveness of the shit, I like the com complexity. This is still has tons of flavor, but it just seems like like you can taste three or four, it's made of three or four things, and you could probably name it. There's like milk, mm. sugar, coffee, beer. Where the shit, it's like you can't really pinpoint one thing. It's like it's kind of like this, it's kind of like this. It leaves you guessing. Them, yes, right? exactly. <clears throat> so it gets a nine or a ten, maybe somewhere in between. Uh, for being a gentleman, where I gave the ten for being Mark to the shit for being more aggressive yeah so you know tents could be different things but anyway that's i i like more aggressive beer so i think definitely the shit is i prefer the shit over this one um i prefer parava java i guess um over the shit just because it's uh even though it, it was um the shit was a little more aggressive and I do like that but it was sweet so it's just sort of like aggressive and sweet to me almost cancel each other out you know because even though it's aggressive it's just I wouldn't say it's sick you know it's sickeningly sweet but it's just um it's just a little too sweet just a tiny bit uh, the Paraba Java was more in line to what I like even though it wasn't as aggressive it wasn't as sweet either um, it's still sweet but not as sweet which to me actually kind of um, made it a little bit more well balanced yeah so wasn't really it you know the booze for sure yeah I mean it wasn't it's not a beast but it's 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 balanced you know so to me it's okay that it's not as aggressive so um, but it was good though I, I like that one a little bit more so for me it was a solid 10 uh, whereas the the shit was you know kind of a between for me between you know a nine and a ten so i mean but for i mean it's just essentially when you get to the to those scores you're you're nitpicking you what know? did you give it a ten a solid ten. Oh, a solid ten i like it a lot we got i would opposite. buy that one yeah. we're the opposite today. i know yeah yeah so but um i like it a lot better but yeah so um it was good i yeah. like these ones i like both of them they're both good all, all right. right good no we said all right at yeah. the same time all right well until next time um cheers and uh, drink responsibly, I guess. See you later. See you.